Annie asked me one time this summer, what's your skincare routine? And I was like, Annie, an Instagram filter. But I thought, why not do a skincare routine for Sim, scaries, simpleton. So step one, wet the face. You know? I'm gonna have to dry that out. Someone's gonna be pissed at me. And I use a really exclusive brand. So, so, I know there's a lot of people watching this right now and they're actually internally screaming, but I don't give a heck. I'm just using this right now. It cleans my face, I think. I can't prove that. I use it. Now that my face is wet, I bet you can see my moustache. I'll get some wax today while I'm out and get rid of that. Nothing wrong with having a moustache, people. I just don't want one. So we get it and we just rub it in. Just, yeah. Get it all in there and you see all the properties of the yep and it's just bubbling up there's a lot of stuff i do in my skincare routine that has nothing to do like no one's told me it works i just do it and then i feel like it works is that a placebo but who cares all right next step let me just go get my toothbrush because i have to brush my teeth while this is on my face I'm making the youtube video of my dreams here What's my YouTube than a skincare routine? Not a, not a, do you know it doesn't matter what kind of YouTube channel someone has. Someone could have a gaming YouTube channel. Marcus Brownlee and someone be like, oh my God, just a skincare routine. It's a ring light. That's a skincare routine. I don't know about you guys, I'm still a bit of a baby, so I use a timer to brush my teeth to make sure I do it long enough. Got the Oral B 3D white looks. Honey, when I tell you it's not making my teeth white, but I still use it anyway. The simple soap soap is kind of already sinking into my face. But, too bad. Okay, bet. I just made your girl a scared that she read. Also, I don't rinse after brushing my teeth because I just remember one time in primary school they were like, that rinses out with the fluoride. So I was like, cool, so I just ever since I would never have. <laughs> don't even know if that works. Next up, wash what's left of the soap that hasn't sunk into my pores off my face. Oh, Tossin. I know Tossin is actually cringing her life away. Tossin, I'm so sorry. She gives me advice on skincare all the time. And then I throw it back in her face by using this. That's what friends are for. I got caught up hands, but I got reusable ones by Huku. Cause I'm like trying to save the planet sometimes and everything's there. I'm sure someone has a word to say on harboring bacteria and to that I say, um, have you changed your pillowcase? You're worried about these cotton pads, but when did you, did you last change your pillowcase? Hmm? When did you last wa wash your headscarf? I need to know, when did you last wash the duvet? Don't worry about my reusable cotton pads, but buy some though. Look, is that satisfying? You want to see the dirt? I don't know if that's focusing, but... I also, at my big age, I'm a victim to TikTok suggestions. So I got this, The Ordinary Peeling Solution. What's it meant to do anyways? Face and neck, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Like I said, I'll be making sure. Please don't cry if you're watching this. Don't cry for me, it's fine. Let me just, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna put, leave this on for 10 minutes, probably like, eight minutes now and then wash it off and then show you the next bit of my botched skincare routine okay yeah change of scenery can't even lie got evicted from the bathroom i got siblings they need to wash so i rinsed off the mask so it didn't burn my face because it would take too long for me to get down here but here's the here's the stuff look so that's the red this is not dirt this is just the red residue from the mask that's the dirt from earlier this is my face from right now if it looks a bit dry that's because it is now um, mommy, did you make, did you make lunch for me? I couldn't. Well, you can get a few chips and some baked beans. I hear that still. But I said, oh, grandma hasn't had her lunch. You give her. Oh, so when you thought about grandma's eating, you, like, it made you feel something. But when you thought about me eating, you didn't feel anything. Yeah, right, so, boom, I've got the ice. Um, little heart-shaped ices because that's the ice cream my auntie gave us. So, I just ice my face until the ice is melted. Because I wake up and my face is genuinely twice the size I, like all the blood rushes to my lips and i'm like and my cheeks are massive and everything's just huge my skincare is just a mashup of things i see on youtube and i'm like sounds legit all the skincare people though who are like don't mix this don't do that i'm like okay and so want to hear something unpopular i don't use sun cream no i don't i don't give a heck but what i do is um put a blanket over my head when i'm in the park wear hats um, close the curtains in my house. Stay out of direct sunlight, but I'm, I'm not into the whole sun cream thing. I just, no one really sold it to me. I'm, I'm not trying to hear it, I'm not gonna lie. People be like, oh, well, when you get skin cancer, don't, you know, don't complain. 
my grandma ain't never used sun cream in her life. And she ain't never had nothing remotely close to skin cancer. But you know what she do do? She stays her ass out the sun though. And you think my grandma, <laughs> all she knows is shade. And um, my grandma's my inspo. So I just do what she does. I just stay out the sun now. Stay out the sun and mind my damn business. If you're like fair skin and you like to sit in the sun, wear your sun cream. Don't play yourself. Oh my God, I'm sure my moustache is gleaming with this water in it. I let my face air dry. So let's do that. Should I make a time lapse? No one wants to see that. I'm capping. Here's another bit of my skincare. Drinking water. Yeah, I bet you want to click off now. It's not about drinking, it is. Why are you using products to hydrate your skin, but all you drink is Fanta? All you drink is Coke? All you drink is juice? Drink some water. Before ordering some juice at the restaurant, ask yourself, have I even had two litres of water today? The answer is probably no. Drink water, don't complain. Oh, that's not necessarily. Okay, so don't drink the water then. So drink Rabina every day. What's, what's it got to do with me? I well, every drink I drink should be water because I already struggle to even force myself to drink water. So why would I then be drinking juice? It just make it make sense, you know? This is so informative. I'm sure people are learning so much. Terrible habit, but I, I squeeze my pores on my nose. Um, the extractions for those who don't want to feel like they're moving mad, but I do I do clean, like, I won't do it on camera because I don't think anyone wants to see that. Maybe you do. Let me feel like her skin's not gonna be nice for long. Like I said, you know, if it's really, if you really think I'm moving mad here, um, see me, report the video, I don't know. I used to like pretty much be addicted to squeezing my pores, but I've really calmed down on it because it's actually, it's actually not good. Like you, your nails have to be clean, more time are your nails actually clean. So I try not to do, not to do that. I'll cover my fingers in this, in the cotton pads and I will squeeze the pores, but I will squeeze them though, because I feel like, Chemical exfoliant, blah, blah, blah. You can do that for a hundred years, but it will still be in the pores. And I feel like my pores are better when I clean them out every so often. So I try and, I've been really good this summer and I've done that like once or, or twice a week, but I try not to do it every day because that's when the skin will be ravaged. Oh, that's a lot of damage. And then to finish off you, man, I literally drown my face in bio oil. And I know people are like, is that comedogenic? Is that non comet Like I watch all the videos you guys are watching and I hear what they have to say. And then I just do anything. I've watched Hiram, I've watched Sashu, Sashu, but I've watched her videos. Um, Golden Goddess, like Ni Nyan, I think it's Nyan. I've watched everyone and everyone says to do this and says to do that. And then like I said, I just do, I do anything. I do what works for me. My grandma's been using olive oil to wipe her face and soap for her whole life. And you know how her skin looks? Very fucking good. So I just do whatever I want. I just, if things are working for me, I keep doing them. If they're not working, I stop. Life is about trial and error. It doesn't matter how many tutorials you watch of things. If you don't put something into place for yourself and take note, it's never gonna bang. That's makeup, that's skincare, that's doing your hair, that's everything. And I've had to learn that the hard way because I was trying to skip steps. How can I make sure I always do everything right? And the answer is, you can't little buddy, sorry. On this lip balm that my mother gave me, like this. Quality. And then I'm ready for the day. The kind of, the oil subsides before I go out. That's why I try and do it before I, the oil subsides. It kind of soaks in what it needs. And I don't know where the rest goes. I don't think it evaporates because oil don't evaporate, but. I thought bio, was, bio oil was for stretch marks. Well, I put it on my face. I leave my stretch marks be, but I put it on my face. And that's it. But that's skincare for simps, boy. Do what you want. At the end of the day, who actually cares? Cause I've seen girls and boys with um, clear skin crying, so it's not the, it's not the cure to cancer, hun. It's not. It's just, it's nice. You have clear skin, sometimes it makes you feel good. Sometimes you have clear skin in, and you don't care because you want more money or something. I don't know. If you're always using juice over water, don't ever ask anyone what their skincare routine is because you're already a joke, man. Delete. Peace out.